let's take it one step close, you know, more for inclusivity here on campus and put free tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods. Sounds great. Okay. Haha, <laughs> I don't even have to do any work for him. That liberal just owned himself. Own the libs. Hello everyone, I'm Alex and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a really sick channel called The Liberty Hangout. Wait until you hear what these University of Kentucky students had to say. It's not about chicken. Sorry, that was a gross generalization of people from Kentucky. Uh, I'm not here to offend anybody, but Caitlin Bennett, she very much is. You might have seen on Twitter that there have been a bunch of videos circulating of this girl called Caitlin Bennett going up to people on her college campus, which is very brave by the way. You know, at college I just try to avoid everybody so that nobody would hate me. She's gone for the opposite rate, trying to piss off everyone. That's a bold social tactic, Chief. Let's go over to Caitlin Bennett now to see how she's getting on. Hey, I, I just wanted to let you know, I'm gay, I'm disabled, I hate you. Apparently not very well. She uploaded a video to her YouTube channel called College Students Have No Morals, where she attacks people with an education. Well, let's see exactly where the morality lies in these college students. Do they want to kill people? Um, I don't know. Steal from the poor? I'm guessing we'll find out. If it makes them feel comfortable, I don't mind. Like, I don't, I don't really care about it. Are you willing to accept that women, some women do have penises? Yeah. Liberty Hangout. Explosions everywhere. Watch us own liberals all the time, 24-7. I'm only a minute into this video, and you can already see that these people haven't accumulated this amount of student debt to have to put up with you on campus coming up to me with a microphone saying absolutely ridiculous bullshit. She seems to be missing the factor that you should just kind of let people do what they want in their own private time. I mean, it's, it's a private restroom. Really, what goes on in there? None of your business. I think if you were putting it down to a game of morals, spying on people in the restroom, that's on the side of, oh, don't do that. We're here today at the University of Kentucky to see if college kids think we should put tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods and urinals in the women's restrooms for women who have ding dongs. We're here today at college just to like hang out, not to get an education annoy people by asking them personal questions about what they do in the restroom. The real question is, why? And if you can't answer that question, then maybe you're a weirdo. <laughs> this can't be real. There's no way this is real. Why have I got a dubstep intro? Queuing up a bit of knife party before you go to own the libs. <laughs> a very important question for you. Look, I'm sorry, Caitlin, but you can't say that you've got a really important question for somebody just after you've played a dubstep montage. They cancel each other out. And exactly how is this important? This doesn't solve anything if there is an answer. What is the importance that this holds? What does this change if you, like, get this survey back? Does somebody get the results back and go, Oh my god, everybody said, yes, maybe we should do all these things. Because, based on this, quite clearly that's not the result that you want. If anything, you should be trying to hide these answers from the public. Because they all seem to be incredibly negative towards anything that you're trying to say. You should be trying to silence these people. Which you have already done, to be fair, because the like and dislikes have been turned off, so I'm assuming it's mainly dislikes. What do you think? Should we be more inclusive towards trans people by putting urinals in the women's restroom? I mean, they gotta do what they gotta do, so I mean, it's not Because not me. all women have vaginas. Some of them have penises, right? I mean, I don't know. I, I just mind my own business. I'm not that big into it. Yes, because you're an ordinary person, mate. That's why most people don't care. They're not bothered by this at all. This doesn't something where you wake up and you go, do you know what? Get the microphone out. Get the camera rolling. I need to figure out the bottom of this. Surely there are more pressing issues going on, like how do we fix student debt? Um, is America going to go to war? Like if I had to make a list on the important questions survey, this one would be ranked probably in like the, the bottom quarter 
Should we put urinals in the women's restrooms here on campus to be more inclusive to women who stand up when they pee because they have penises? Yeah. The thing is, she's going around asking all these people questions. But the thing is that I really don't seem to understand, beyond the fact that this is just really stupid, is the part where, what does it change? What if suddenly everybody turns around and goes, oh, actually, no, I don't think that. Um, I don't think that's okay. Are you going to stop those people from existing? Do you, you want to do that? I mean, it almost seems like the problem isn't going to go away. So, who's it hurting? If it's not hurting anybody... <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't think anybody's going to go in there and go, Oh my god, that's really upsetting. Oh, I feel personally affected by that. So, what is the problem? Do you see a problem with me asking you about men having periods? No, I mean, it's a college campus. There's a lot of ideas to share. I mean... What is a period? I mean... What? I think this guy here is everybody who watches these videos, just... What is going on? What what is happening here? He he's he's just trying to get to his class probably. He's got PE at four. Um although he looks like he's dressed for a wedding at six. Meanwhile he's being harassed by somebody who looks like that they haven't even necessarily passed half of what is going on at this school. Would you be concerned or would you accept it and be inclusive? What would you do? Um, it's none of my business. It's none of your business that a man no. is in the women's restroom. If they're in the women's restroom, then they identify as a woman. Oh. Wow, she got absolutely owned there. See, we've got like a, a term for when you own a liberal, but what happens when you own a Republican? Is it just called owning them? Because you don't need a weird, like, meme catchphrase. There's no better mic drop than just walking away after you've schooled somebody. Uh, she quite clearly wasn't really expecting an answer because normally when she just goes up and asks questions to people that are deeply invasive, they kind of go, uh, what? Which is what 90% of this video has been so far. So I think getting an actual answer from somebody is not what she expected. Who would have known men walking into... Okay, don't question anything about men walking into women's restrooms ever. They're just there because they're women. They're not, not predators, no. Calling trans people predators uh, in a video and then playing it off as if they're not transgender, they're just men. There's no way that people can transition in between that. No, that, that, that doesn't exist. If, if they're there... And uh, no matter what they are now, or, or what they were before, or whatever they want to be, they're quite clearly a criminal who's going to get you. Either she's stuck in the 1970s, or she's a stranger who's weirdly obsessed with other people's genitalia. It might be a bit of both. Now this next one is my favourite one, and it's not just because of the fact that um, me and this guy share the same headphones. Um, but it does go up a bit in my book for that. Because this is where her video goes from like, just asking questions to her literally losing it and starting sprouting out random stuff about how people are incredibly unsafe and you should watch out. You at home? Because they're coming for you. You specifically. I don't know why, but they really, for some reason, are interested in you. These people, I don't even know who these people are, I don't even know if they exist. There's, there doesn't seem to be any examples. <laughs> they just, they just, they're just like, they're like ghouls and ghosts. They'll find you in the restroom and, and they'll be near the tampons, apparently. So avoid that if you don't want to get spooked. What do you think about putting tampons and pads in the men's restroom here on campus for men who have periods. Yeah, absolutely. That's essential. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's uh there's more than people think. What? Men having periods? Mhm. Mm yeah. By God. Did you s tell them to seek medical help if men are having periods? Well, trans men have periods. Oh. The thing is, not only are these questions just annoying in any way, shape or form, and you quite clearly see this guy is very much starting to lose his patience. It's the way she asks them. It's like, even if I, for some reason, in some twisted way, agreed with you, I wouldn't want to, because I wouldn't want to give you that satisfaction. Okay. Okay, explain that one to me. Yeah, so, uh, so people who have uh, transitioned from female to male, um, you know, obviously, you know, they might still have periods, and, you know, if they identify as male, you know, they have the right to go into the men's room. Uh, but if they're still having periods, they have the right to have, you know, the products they need. Do you remember me? And Lauren just cuts away <laughs> because he gave an actual answer. She didn't have a rebuttal for that one. <laughs> she just went, oh, well, 
Uh, let's just cut it. Just cut, cut around it. Uh, How should I approach people if I don't know what they are? Should I say, hello, sir, ma'am? Should I just guess? Well, Caitlin, here's a bit of advice for you. You go up to people and you go, hi. If you tried that, most of these people would probably go on with you a lot more than if you just gave them loaded questions. But hey, that's just a bit of advice. I just don't understand why people look at other people like Caitlin Bennett does and goes, I need to address them via their genitalia. I can't just say hello, I can't say yo, I can't say what's up, I can't say how you doing. I've got to go, he or she, what are you? Most people would prefer if you just didn't speak to him. That's another bit of advice, actually. Take that one for free, judging that you're giving it out. Here's some of my own. Cis men don't have periods. Cis men don't have periods, but some men do. Yes. All right. Thank you for the lesson. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good one. I love that. She just goes like that. You know, oh, you said something that uh, I don't agree with. But instead of going, oh, here's why I don't agree with it, she just doesn't really have a rebuttal. She just goes, well, I just, I just don't. She hasn't actually really explained why it is wrong, so I can't actually understand exactly from her point of view why it would be wrong. Currently, I just think she's wrong. This seems like a very one-sided argument. <laughs> There's just a bunch of people who are telling her the same thing over and over again, and then her doing faces. You want to jump in? You guys can do it together. Not, um, I just know that if I don't say profanities, this probably won't get played, but Kentucky does not stand for sexism, yeah. is like phobia, things like that. Yeah, Kentucky that. doesn't. Who's standing for that type of stuff? I love that. She's going, I'm not. I'm not one of those people. I'm not, I'm not a racist or a homophobe or, or sexist in any way, shape or form. Um, no, no, I'm, I'm not one of those people. But Caitlin, you are. I found this clip of her saying that kissing gay people is disgusting. Why does it bother me if I want oh, you to do so, it? It's such an uncomfortable situation. You obviously you no, want it's to. It's uncomfortable. I don't want you to kiss my fiance. That's what would no, make we're me uncomfortable. About kissing a man in general, it clearly bothers you. Doesn't bother me. I just think it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, it's disgusting, is it? You wouldn't want anybody kissing your fiance. At number one, you should speak to him about that because if he's going around kissing guys, you might have a problem. But if you think guys kissing is disgusting, then why do you kiss guys? I think you might be gay, Caitlin. The fact that she's gonna made this 20 minute video talking about how people are unsafe in their restrooms on their college campus, when she turned up to her graduation with a rifle on her back. You know, if somebody said to me, oh, there's a trans person in the bathroom, or there's, a, there's somebody running around school with a gun, they got a gun, there's somebody at the school with a gun. Especially in America, I know which one would scare me more. I'd be thinking, oh, that's the seventh time this week. And I'm not talking about the trans person in the bathroom. Your priorities are completely out of whack. How can you go around saying, you know, guns should have those around, killing machines, but people who want to have other genitalia, that's the real danger. I think we should give all trans people guns. That's a middle ground. That I think we can all agree on. Now, I know a lot of people might watch this video and get kind of upset that it's probably a bit more political. Um, so that was my like few minutes of political commentary on the entire country as a whole. I don't want to offend any Americans, but maybe you wouldn't have so many problems over there if you didn't put your president in a peach. This video just really weirds me out because for somebody who seems to love guns so much, she's really worried about people conceal carrying. <laughs> oh, Caitlin, nice to see you. Is that an AR-15 on your back, or are you just happy to see me? I think everybody should be very happy by the fact that millions of people all have shunned these videos and said this is ridiculous and stupid, and actually gave her the time to speak and then own her. Play that dubstep montage. <laughs> So this is one of those videos that has very much restored my faith in humanity. Thank you for not being weirdos. You actually really care about what other people are doing with um, their trousers or underneath them. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and turn notifications on. And I will see you guys in the next video. Well, I will be carrying an AR-15 just so I can feel safe around my own bathroom. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, people.